Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel. Three tips here. And today what I have is an assortment of filters and other waste material that I'm going to try to process for us today. It's mostly filters. This is a filter bin that I uh, save all my filters from my gold refining operations and my silver refining when I dissolve the silver and uh, filter out the solids. I keep the filters. Back here I've got a, a jar of material that I've already incinerated and it's been sitting here waiting for me to process. I've got another jar that's got a bunch of waste in it from the first time I did my fume hood. There's some uh, paper and gloves and stuff that I scraped off the inside of the fume hood and I saved it all. And we'll be burning all that today. <clears throat> here I've got a, uh, a dustpan with some uh, material that I scraped off the back of the baffle from my fume hood and we'll be burning this and processing it also. Plus, last but not least, these are all the filters from every gold refining that I've ever done since I started refining back in 2010. It's a five gallon bucket full of them. And we're going to be burning all this material as well. And we're going to get to it and start doing that for you right now. Here is a propane tank that feeds a turkey fryer that I've modified to use to do incinerations. And I'm going to put a stainless steel pan on there to start heating it up. Here you'll see the papers ignite as soon as they hit that hot stainless steel pan. And the goal here is to burn all the paper away into a fine ash and also to burn any other combustible material that's in the filters there before we uh, put it in the acids. That first group of paper is already burnt to a fine ash, as you can see there. Now I'm going to add the uh, scrapings off the back of the baffle out of my fume hood. While I had that baffle out, I uh, scraped all that material off of it and I saved it just in case it contains any precious metals. And next I'm adding the uh, material from the first time I changed out my fume hood way back in 2016. That beaker's been setting up on my shelf for four years. I'm not proud to say it, but at least we're gonna go ahead and get it processed in this video. I started burning these papers at about 10 minutes past two. And I just checked my uh, watch there and the time is about quarter to three so it's been about 35 minutes since I started the burn and here I'm going to start adding the papers out of my five gallon bucket these are from 10 years of refining I've saved every filter paper that I ever used and stuck them in this five gallon bucket and today we're going to burn them and try to extract any precious metals that we can from them
That's a lot of paper there, almost a five gallon bucket full of it. And uh, I didn't want to crowd the pan there too much. So I just put part of it in. Here it's important to stir the material so that the oxygen can get in there and all the combustible paper can burn. Here it's about quarter to four, just a little over an hour and a half to get everything to uh, burn down to this uh, state right here. And now I'll add in the rest of the filter papers from the five gallon bucket. Here it's important to keep checking the, uh, the burn pot there to ensure that we've got all of the combustible material burnt away. As long as we can see smoke or flames coming out of that pot with the uh, filter papers in it, that means that we have combustible material that has not burnt away. And uh, here you can see there's no more smoke or flames, so I uh, turn off the gas and secure the flame to it. All right, here's our ash. What I'm gonna do now is spoon it up here into a strainer. We're gonna uh, get it to a finely divided state here so we can work on it with some acid. This shot is speeded up uh, two times normal speed and uh, you can see the entire uh, step that I do here by putting the material through that screen to get it finally divided down into the beaker and then I use that uh, little mortar and pestle there to uh, push it through the screen and there's going to be some material left over and I save that in a, uh, in a steel pot and I'll process that in a separate video. Here's the entire sequence uh, in real time. It took me about 30 minutes to get all the uh, burnt filter paper material processed through that screen and into the beaker. When I see no more material coming from the bottom of the screen there as I shake it, I shift over to the mortar and pestle and uh, grind it, push it through the screen and uh, force it down into the beaker. I'll save all that stuff that didn't make it through the screen because it still might have some precious metals in it. All right, I've got all the stuff to the screen so far and I'm using a brush here to uh, sweep the bottom of that pot so I can get all of the uh, material down through the screen. So now what I'm gonna do 
do is just weigh the beaker with the material in it and record that weight. And then when we get everything out of there, we'll weigh the beaker by itself and we'll be able to calculate a yield. 1,421.6. I'm gonna add some distilled water to our finely divided burnt filters here. Make a slurry out of this. Fill it up to about the 1,000 milliliter level. metals that may be present. And we'll stick it up here on the heat. Let this cook for a while. As you can see, I've got a reaction going on already in there. The time right now is just before 7.30. Just put my uh, material on the heat with some blue nitric in there. We'll let this cook for a while and uh, see if we can extract any palladium or silver that may be in the material before we try to dissolve out any precious metals with aqua regia. If we went straight to aqua regia and there's a bunch of silver in there, then we'll make silver chloride from the hydrochloric acid in the aqua regia and that could cause problems for us when we go to filter. The time is 8.20. We've been on uh, boiling with some blue nitrate for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit more nitric acid to it. About 50 milliliters here going in. And we'll let this uh, stay on the heat a little longer and see if we can extract some more stuff out of here. Pour this in slowly. Thank you. 
food, we've got all the uh, stuff that's going to dissolve in nitrate, dissolve out of our material now. Go ahead and uh, turn the heat off. I'm going to add some distilled water to glue everything down in here. settle out and then we'll get the uh, solution off our material rinse it out real good and then hit it with some aqua detail. this will conclude part one of the filter paper recovery video and I'll get busy on part two immediately in the morning uh, but before I go I would like to uh, turn everybody's attention to a, a YouTube user named SRS Rocco and on his channel he's got a very good explanation of what's going on in the divergence between the spot price and the physical price of silver right now and in that video he explains how the uh, the production is going to fall off, but also the demand, the industrial demand for silver and silver jewelry and so forth has uh, decreased. But the demand to take possession of physical silver is starting to ramp up. And he also explains in there how we can uh, possibly see gasoline prices at the pump going down below one dollar a gallon so check that out the guy's name is SRS Rocco on YouTube this will conclude part one of the filter paper refining video thanks for watching